We're standing in front of an enormous challenge which we barely recognize. The world has signed the Sustainable Development Goals, the most aspirational agenda for all humans on Earth to have good lives, good development, good economies within a stable Earth system. We have the Paris Climate Agreement that we're now going to transform the world to stay as far below 2 degrees Celsius warming as we ever can to stand a chance to have a prosperous, sustainable development for humanity in the future. How are we to succeed? Now, to achieve this agenda requires building resilience. It requires building social, ecological resilience at all scales. And not only to persist and to avoid crossing tipping points and, so to say, collapsing in the face of stress and shocks. It's not only either of the ability of being adaptive, which is the second feature we normally talk of when we define resilience as being our ability to deal with change and continue to develop, we talk of resilience in three features. Then the first one is the persistency ability of avoiding large-scale unwanted change, our ability to adapt, meaning that we stay in the same um, livelihood base or the same ecosystem setting, but we adapt when things change within that equilibrium or that state or that societal um, level of, of, uh, of technology or structure. But the third dimension is the focus here, our ability to transform, our ability to step out of our current state and move into uncharted terrain and explore new sources of livelihoods, new ways of being stewards of our ecosystems, new ways of governing our planet, new ways of generating economic wealth to all human beings in an equitable way.